staying safe. Over the next few weeks and possibly months, I'm going to be showing you all some of the new features that the latest game update brings. The update is still in beta for now, but you can easily download it through Steam for PC, Test Flight for iOS, or the Google Play Store for Android. I don't know how to get it if you have a Windows phone. Sorry. This new update is chock full of great features and improvements, and it's been so cool seeing all the new creations on the website. Today I'm going to showcase a possibly overlooked feature that came with the new Visi. As all of you know, Visi is the game's visual programming language and has been generally used for automating craft instructions. Now with the new update, there is also a simple feature to create beep sounds. We're going to test that feature to really challenge its capabilities. As soon as I got the new beta downloaded, I went to work to create a music generator. You can find this craft available on the website now. It's called the Universal Music Composer, and I just uploaded version 2 earlier today. Here's the Visi script. It's heavily commented, so I won't spend much time explaining it here, but basically the script allows you to program music in the form of a list, then the loop will play back the music in the game. After programming a melody using this code, we'll expand it to include multiple parts. At first, I thought that the game could only handle a single beep at a time, but then a friend of mine, Patel, told me that programs loaded onto separate components would actually run at the same time. With this revelation, we can create more complex musical compositions. To get started, we're going to program the Super Mario Bros. main theme called Overworld. It's really easy to find sheet music for this, and there are a ton of versions out there. I chose this song because I can find a simple version with just two parts to quickly demonstrate how to make music using Visi. My hope is that this inspires others of you to do the same. It would be great if we had a library of songs and themes that can be loaded onto any craft. The first step toward programming this song is to break it down into parts. For that, we'll code in the top line of music first. If you're not familiar with how to read music, I've linked to a quick tutorial that can get you up to speed. The only thing it doesn't cover is the octave numbering. In order to code the top part, we're going to generate a list in Visi containing details about each note. The first part of the list defines the note length, like quarter, eighth, or half. Generally, a quarter note equals one, but you can make it anything you want and just change the tempo. After the note length comes the note letter, like G, A, or C sharp. Finally comes the octave number. Just know that most of the octaves in the line we're programming now are in octave four or five. Let's go ahead and program the first few bars. Now we can load it into the game to check our work. Great, it works. It definitely sounds like the Mario theme, but we're still missing the harmony and bass parts. Let's go back and add those now. If you've played around with this feature, you may have noticed that you can't play multiple beeps at the same time inside a single program. To get around this, we need to create and load separate flight programs into different parts that can then be synced up to make multi-part music. It doesn't really matter which parts the flight programs are loaded onto, so I just used beacon lights for this demo. Now we're going to program in the first few bars of the harmony and the bass. Okay, all done. I chose to decrease the volume of the harmony to make sure it doesn't compete with the main melody in this case. I found that note combinations don't always sound great when everything is set to the highest volume level. Let's load this into the game and make sure it sounds right. Alright, that sounds pretty good. It's a little hard to hear the bass, but when we code in the entire song, you should be able to hear it better. Now we just have to code the rest of the song. I won't bore you with that, so I'm just going to skip forward. Whew, that took a bit of time, but with some organization and practice, you can easily code a song like this in about 15 to 30 minutes. I've already tested this to make sure it works, so I'm just going to play myself out. I really hope this video inspires some of you to take up busy music making. As always, thanks for watching, and don't forget to leave a comment with feedback. See you guys next time!